Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoyed this low-impact cardio and strength workout along with scriptures on who we are in Christ Jesus. You will only need a set of weights. Let's get started with the warm up. Go ahead and just move those arms, move your legs. We wanna warm up this body. We wanna work on our breathing, deep inhale and exhale. Let's do some hamstring curls. Just flex those feet and let's bring those arms across that body, warm up the shoulders and the core. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, right? The old is gone and the new is here. Praise God. All right, keep it going. We're almost warmed up. One more time across the chest. Let's grab a set of weights. This first exercise is a squat and a knee lift. So take a deep inhale as you lower down into a squat. Knee lift and press an arm up over the head. This scripture I absolutely love. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Isn't that awesome to know that God knew us before we were formed in the womb? What we're doing is working on the shoulders, working on balance, working on the legs. Keep that belly pulled in. And exhale as you lift that weight up over the head. You just go at your own pace and your own level. One more time. Let's go ahead and put the weights down. This next one is low impact repeaters. So what you're gonna do is bring one leg back and you can tap, just bring that foot front and back. Do some runner's arms here and you can bring that knee up but I want you to do what's best for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a great future. One more, switch out those legs. Again, tap front, keep those arms moving. Bring the knee up if you want. And let's breathe, let's breathe through this. Inhaling and exhaling. God is so good to us, isn't he? I mean, I just love that he formed us. He knew us before we were born. A few more, last one. This next exercise, take one weight, bring the feet out about shoulder distance apart, go down into a squat, chop the arm one direction, and then go the opposite direction. For we, You are God's masterpiece. And he has created us new in Christ Jesus, right? So this one works the obliques, works the abdominals, the core, the legs. It's a total body exercise that I absolutely love. Just keep going, side to side, mouth open, We want a lot of oxygenated blood as we work out. And again, inhale lower. Exhale one more time. This next one, go ahead and grab both weights. We're going back to the squat. So position your feet about shoulder distance apart. Lower down and then exhale and lift. Same thing we did, very first exercise. See how very much your father loves you, for he calls you his child. He calls you his child. I love that. And we should have faith just like a child. Just go to your Lord, go to your father with anything and everything and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, I thank you for this day. Where, Lord, I need help today to renew my mind in you. Help me to keep my thoughts focused on you today. One more.
going back to those repeaters, bring one foot back, runner's arms again, and tap. Remember, you've got that knee lift. Whoo! Keep the uh, knees and the toes straight ahead. You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. So honor God with your body. And that's what we're doing. We're honoring God as we keep this body fit, as we work it out. Heart rate is going up on this one. One more. Switch out those legs, same thing. Repeaters. Knee comes up. Shoulders down. Posture and alignment is so, so important as we work out. All right. I can feel that heart rate going up. You can also modify this more. Three more and one. Let's go back to that chop. Bring the legs about hip distance apart, lower down and chop. Since you've been raised to Christ, you have a new life with him, right? So set your sights on the realities of heaven, right? Think about things above. Think about things above. Not on maybe your current circumstance or situation. Look past that into what God is doing in your life. And what he continues to do. Keep your mind and your eyes fixed on him. Shoulders down. Squatting. Chopping. Working the core. Working those hips and glutes. How are you doing with this one? This is probably on my top 10 list of favorite exercises to do for the core. One more each direction. Last one. Very nice job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. Go ahead and step one foot out into a lunge. Bring your opposite arm across and then go right back. So we're working on balance and stabilization and of course the legs and that upper body. Put on your new nature, put it on. Create it to be like God, truly righteous and holy. So read God's word so you'll know who he is and read all about Jesus in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. It's got a pretty awesome storyline in there. And so as we read the Word, we act out the Word, right? So not only know the Word and hear it, but act like it. All right, a few more of these. We have one more. Go ahead and switch to your opposite leg. Step front in the heel, power back out of that heel. That's real important. Now, if you've got some issues with some knee problem, just step out just a little bit. It's no big deal. You don't have to go all the way out there. But if you're going to land out there, land the heel, and then again, power back out of the heel. You know, Jesus says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. And he goes on to say, if you remain in me, and I in you, he promises you will bear much fruit. Then he goes on to say, apart from me, you can do nothing. And I know that's true. I can't do anything without the Lord. He guides and directs my footsteps. One more. And back. Good. This next one is a step out squat, just side to side. Just step it out. Sit back in your hips and through your glutes. I love this next scripture verse. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are my works and my soul knows it very well. Now the works of the Lord are within you. He's working things out. He's working all things out for our good and for his glory. So we're working on the legs here. Again, we're working on that balance and stabilization. Keep those shoulders down. 
Mouth open to breathe. One more each direction. Last one. This next one, it's a walk down plank. I just want you to go at your level and your pace, all right? So what you're gonna do is lower yourself down, walk out, hold your position, go up into a pike, and lower back down. Or maybe you just wanna stay right here and work on that plank. And he said, if anyone would come after me, that's what the Lord says, and deny himself, and take up your cross daily, and follow me, the Lord promises, promises to bless you, and to be with you always. Let's do that a few more times, just working on the plank, working on that pike position. One more, hold right there. Let's walk it back carefully. Use your muscles, come on up. How'd you do with that one? Go ahead and grab your weights again. Okay, let's go over that first exercise. Go ahead, step front, lunge, cross over, and bring it back. The word of the Lord says, fear not. Did you hear that? Fear not, for I have redeemed you, and I have called you by name. And then it goes on to say, you are mine. Did you hear that? You are mine, says the Lord. Fear not. I believe fear not is in the Bible 365 plus times. Okay, so pay attention to that. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. He has redeemed you and you are his. Just say that over and over again. One more. Go ahead and switch out your legs, same thing. Lunge and bring it back. Remember the modification, step out. Not as far and that's fine, just step it out and bring it back. Whoever is united with the Lord is one with Him in the Spirit. Are you united with the Lord today? Or do you feel divided? You know, you can easily go to Him and say, Lord, look at my heart. Lord, help me today. Lord, cleanse me. Lord, purify me. Help me with my thoughts and my attitude and my actions. Land the heel and then power back. And breathing, your heart rate goes up a little bit here, right? Let's do that three more times. With excellence, right? For the Lord, one more. Now we're going into that side to side squat. So step it out, sit down and sit back into those hips and glutes. You know, I pray this scripture a lot, this next one. Lord, you examine my heart and you know everything about me. I ask the Lord to examine my heart all the time, even though some days I really don't want him to because I know what's in there. And so I say, Lord, examine me. Show me anything in this heart that offends you and lead me in your everlasting way. So we're working the legs and again, working the core and working on that balance, glutes and hips. Let's do this one more each direction. Last one. Good job. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, born for a time such as this, Prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, 
tanks and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shaped by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.